Hello everyone, Eldrick here, and welcome back to some more Ghostly Matter. In the last video, we took out Evil Scully after we went and picked up his missing leg from a couple of ghouls. We took those down and brought the leg back. Well, actually, we found the leg before we even met Good Scully, or quotation marks, you know, air quotes, Good Scully. Um, he was actually Evil Scully in disguise, who had a mohawk and a chain that was ready to uh, whip us a new butthole. Um, and he was drinking vodka, which made me depressed that I could not enjoy in real life. But anyway, uh, we picked up this gold key after defeating him. It says, a small gold key opens the door to the Blackwood house. Which, if you remember a few episodes back, we actually made it to the entranceway to the Blackwood House, but we could not open it. So, we are on our way back to that household. If we can, uh, make it there. So we're just gonna kill these guys here in front of it. Some chest here. And something that could be useful, a battery. Some poison skeleton. Take that, we're gonna cheese you skeletons there. Oh, there's all kinds of chest here. Okay. So that's just a enchanted coffer. Sinister looking statue. Isn't it? it? Sure is. Okay, we'll take out that ghosty. There's another one. Luckily, I didn't take any damage there. The ruins of the old ossuary. I forget where this leads me to. Not really sure I want to go this way anyway. I honestly need to get out of here. Yeah, we're not going to fool around in here. Let's head over here. Oh shit. I may die here. There we go. Alright, we're... We're okay. Okay, so we just gobbled down a cheeseburger to regain our health. So let's continue on. And if you're wondering why I'm not using my poultry scope right now is because when I had to restart the game, um, 
it was not working. <laughs> so I'm just running through here and hopefully trying not to run into any invisible ghosts and monsters and whatnot. Alright everyone, so here we are at the entrance to the Blackwood Mansion. Let's try out this golden key and try to enter this. Okay, so we've opened the door. Amanda, do you copy? I finally managed to enter the Blackwood house. Do you have any news? Yes, Professor. I've been in the library doing some research on the Blackwoods and it seems they were a very influential family in British high society. Almost all of its members have been very influential in the political or financial fields, but the whole family has a fairly controversial reputation and legends abound about them. As for the last heir, Norman, he officially died in a shipwreck during an exploratory expedition in 1929 and that was the end of the Blackwood lineage. In fact, in addition to being an important businessman, he also had two great passions for exploration and, let me guess, for esoteric sciences? Exactly. It is not official and there are very few documents about it. But according to what I found, it seems that in the last years of his life, he was obsessed with the concept of resurrection. I would say it's been a trending topic in the last two days. Melville's secret laboratory was full of walking corpses. I don't think it's a coincidence. Surely there is a relationship between Norman Blackwood's studies and Melville's mysterious Project 88. But, it's still not clear to me why Melville was interested in these practices. For now, it's better to tread carefully. Thank you, Amanda. If you have other information, you know how to get a hold of me. You can count on me. Okay. Alright, everyone. We will pick up here in the Blackwood House in the next episode. Anyhow, I hope you guys take care, keep gaming, and I'll see you guys then for some more ghostly matter. Bye-bye.